Hey, thanks for joining me today. We got a great question from Sylvie in Rwanda. And she says, Dear Don, I've been seeing the same thing in so many churches in my country where the moderator of the service cuts the worship moment short because he wants to say something and he proposes the worship leader a song he thinks will go along with what he wants the atmosphere to be like. But mostly I've noticed that it disturbs what the worship leader has already built. Uh, what would you advise the worship leader in cases like that? Since we worship leaders still want to be obedient to both our leaders and the Holy Spirit. So that is a great question, Sylvie. And you're right, uh, we want to be obedient and submissive to our pastors and to the Holy Spirit. And uh, I've had this happen to me uh, multiple times when I'm leading worship. Uh, at one conference, one time, uh, the pastor said, I don't want you to say anything between the songs because you draw attention to yourself and away from the Holy Spirit. And there was something in me that kind of bristled when, when I heard that, but I determined that I'm going to submit and uh, and he went on a little further and he said, watch me on the platform. And if I nod at the end of your first worship song, then you can sing the second one. <laughs> and there's a part of me that wanted to get on the airplane and fly home, but I, I, th I decided, I said to the band, I said, look, we are gonna submit and we are gonna serve the moderator of this conference. Um, and I sang my first song and I looked over at him and he goes, I sang the second song. And third, fourth, but we, I sang about 12 songs. It was odd for me, it was an awkward moment, um, but the important thing I wanna get across to you is, yes, your job is to submit to your pastor. I'm assuming when you said moderator, it's probably the pastor. Let me tell you something about personalities. Pastors and moderators are usually vision driven. I mean, if you look at a personality profile, they're dominant, uh, they wanna take that mountain, they wanna put a vision out for the people, and, and, and that's just their personality. And, and they don't realize that they have all these touchy, feely, creative people on the worship team that, that get their feelings hurt. You may uh, practice a song for uh, three months and it's your big moment to sing it in your church and the pastor walks up and said, we don't have time for that today. We're just gonna go to this moment here. So it happens, uh, it, it happens to all of us and I think you've said it in your, in your letter here. The thing to remember is you are there to, to serve your pastor. You're there to be submissive to him or her and to the Holy Spirit and that keeps your spirit sensitive. Never get to the place where you feel, this is my moment, I'm gonna create it. There's something healthy about submitting. And I think the more we submit, the more we're faithful to do what, uh, what God has called us to do and what your pastor has called you to do, the more God will trust you uh, with a larger platform. So I think you've, uh, you've got it. Keep submitting, keep serving, um, and you know, you'll be amazed at how that will build a trust between you and your pastor as well. So uh, thanks again for your question. Great question. Uh, and if, uh, if you've got a question that you wanna send to me, I'll do my best uh, to answer the question. Just go to donmoen.com forward slash ask Don. God bless. Uh, God has a pattern uh, to follow uh, and, and it's, it's not complicated. Um, People ask me, what is my motivation? What, do I, what am I thinking about every time I get on stage to lead worship?